Hello, my name is Christopher and today I'm going to walk you through step by step on installing Cost OS on Debian. So, a, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And, let's get started. So a little bit about Cost OS. It, as it helps you manage your Docker Compose files, which are Docker containers, and then uh, it makes it to where you can run just about anything you want. So I'm gonna copy this curl command for later, and you can go down here and you can see more about it. So it's your personal cloud reimagined, and here's the UI. It's been featured in a lot of uh, news and then I discover amazing self-hosted apps. They have an app store and also there's third-party app stores. And um, so 20 plus pre-installed Docker-based apps, community verified self-hosted apps. So um, I connect all your data to it. You can connect Google, uh, Dropbox, iCloud, OneDrive, NVR, camera, HD, SSD, and then um, it goes to PC, laptop, phone, TV, speaker, Xbox, VR, and NAS. And then um, access your server anytime. And this is how it works. It's what the UI looks like. It's easy app installation to where you just go in the app store, you click the install button, it installs the apps. And what this is doing is it's a booting up a Docker Compose in the background and bringing it up and showing it in the UI. Flexible dashboard to where you can have more info on the dashboard with performance, CPU, RAM, and your storage. Discover new apps in, in the app store. And then you can also have a command line interface. that you sign into, and this SSH is in, into the cost OS. And you can build your home da a da a data center, I manage all your files, share files across the network, protect your family's pri privacy data, and freely add, add disk and expansion spaces. Simple and elegant to use. It just makes it to where you have a UI instead of this. And for your personal cloud hackers, uh, it works on Ubuntu, Raspberry Pi, Debian. So um, they also have a board that you can buy. It works on Intel Nuke and um, AMD64, ARM V7, and ARM64. And here's all the apps that, that are in the App Store. And then they have a great community that you can join on Discord. So, that's about Cost OS. So now I'm going to go to my terminal, and I'm in my Debian. So I'm going to paste in the curl command that I copied over in CostaOS.io. So I'm going to run it, return or enter. And then you're going to get made by Icewell with you. Your, your hardware architecture, it's, it's t it tested everything, the disk capacity, the memory, the Linux distribution, Debian, your system is Linux, and uh, it's installing the dependencies. This might take a little bit on installing everything and getting everything up. Installing Docker now.
So now it's uh, stopping the services and making sure they're not available. Now it's starting the services. And then now it's up and running. So we can get to finding the IP address now. So now that we got COS OS installed, we need to find the IP address to actually go to COS OS now. So I'm going to clear my terminal and then I'm going to um, type host name and then dash uh, uppercase I. And then now I'm going to return or enter. It's going to show a few IP addresses. I'm going to go for the 192, the first one. So now we, we found our IP address. So now we can go to that IP address and go and install COS OS now. So once you get the IP address like we did in the last, you're going to put in your browser. And then I'm going to return or enter. I'm going to be presented with the welcome page. So I'm going to say go. I'm going to set up an account. So you can put anything you want here. Just make sure you remember it. And then now once you put your username and your password and confirm the password, I'm going to create an account right here. We're good to go. So now you can accept the news feed if you'd like. And then it's going to say it found a drive. You can exit out of that. You can go over here and you can turn off re re recommended apps. You can clean up things a little bit. And um, you can turn off the time. You can turn off the widgets, everything like that. So you can also go in the app store and you can install something real quick. And what this is doing is it's pulling the Docker container off of wherever it's getting it from. And then it's starting it up with Docker Compose. You can also continue in background right here. So now it's da downloading a newer image. Sometimes this gets stuck so you can re refresh, but it didn't that time. So you can see that we, we can go to the AdGuard home and get it set up. So, we got COS OS running on Debian. So I just walked you through step by step on how to get COS OS running on Debian. I started from scratch with a clean install of Debian. I installed COS OS on it. I found the IP address that was on my Debian. And then I went to the IP address. I set up the account. I got everything running. And then I showed you a little bit of a thing about widgets and cl cleaning up the dashboard. And then I installed AdGuard Home on it just real quick to show you that I can install Docker containers and you can too. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.